Hey, you guys, stick around to see how I got this look. Hey, you guys, how you doing? My name is Steffi. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, I'm going to do something real simple. Also, it came to my mind that it is next month is Mardi Gras, so I'm going to try to come up with a Mardi Gras look. I've never done that before, so we'll give it a shot. Today, I want to do like an orangey brown kind of... Uh, kind of vibe with no eyeliner and little bit of eyelashes not much and then I um, last night I learned how to put on individual like actual single bottom eyelashes so I'm gonna try that again today so right now I'm gonna go in with a, a neutral color all over and this palette is so old that all of the writing rubbed off on it so I don't know who it is or what it is but it's a small palette so I'm assuming I got it from Epsi I'm kind of going back into fall a little bit Okay, there's the neutral color and that looks kind of orangey so that's cool because I want this to really be like an orange and brown. So now I'm dipping into um, an orangey like a shimmery orange and I'm just going to put that right under there under the other one and I'm not wearing any tape today because I want it to go all the way around. Oh that is orange nice. And I'm going to take the orange on the bottom all the way over. And today, the kind of style I'm doing for my eye, 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 eyes um, is I want everything to kind of go out like this. So that's what I'm doing. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I'm going to go all the way under with the orange and I'm going to have them connect on the outside. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with like a a deep brown and I'm just gonna put this on the outside here and I don't know what I want to do for the lid yet should I do the lid brown maybe I'll just do the lid brown so I'm gonna go all over the lid with the dark brown and just a little bit up but mostly focusing on the outside and on the outside bottom <clears throat> and the dark brown I'm only going to take it in about halfway on the bottom because I want everything focused on the outer part of the eye so that it goes like this you can see my eye is kind of widening Okay, let me go do my other eye. I'll be right back. I don't know if these are going to be the right eyelashes or not. They're pretty natural. But maybe when I get some mascara on them, they will look better. You guys know I'm not about natural eyelashes. But I thought I'd try something different today. These I, I put these on because I'm not using any eyeliner. And these have a clear band. So that's why I'm using these so that the uh, so that it doesn't look like you have eyeliner on. I don't know what kind of I don't know if it's like a natural look I'm going for today or what I'm really doing. It's just something that I had thought. So these eyelashes, as you can see, aren't really my type. They're um, very natural. But once the glue dries, I'm going to see if I can put um mascara on them and make them look better and if not I can always change my eyelashes so now I'm going to go get my individual lashes and I'll show you what I was doing last night okay so these are the lashes I was putting on last night these are individual lashes like for real individual lashes the idea is you put mascara on your own bottom lashes and then you fill them in with these individual ones I did that last night turns out I don't have any bottom lashes like anything that I can even put mascara on so what I'm gonna do is take this little doohickey you put this on your finger 
right? And it holds glue. So you put the glue in here. And this way you don't have to like really mess with the glue too much when you're trying to put on individual lashes. And I'm about out of this kind of glue. So I'm gonna let this dry for, actually let me blow dry it. I'm gonna blow dry my glue to make it more tacky. If you sit here with the glue for a while, it will get tacky and then it'll make putting on your bottom lashes even easier. Okay, so here, and I need my five times or 10 times mirror, whatever this is. So you take your tweezers and you go in here and I'm gonna do the shortest ones. I'm gonna do the five millimeters and you just, I can't really show you. You basically just take it by here and pluck it off and then Maybe, you know, maybe one comes off, maybe a couple come off, but it, it's basically all the same thing. So then you dip it into the glue. And then it's weird because then you have to turn the tweezers over and put it on your, on your eyelid. You have to make sure that the eyelashes are going the correct way. So you just stick it on right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's one eyelash. And doing it this way is cool if you um, if you already have bottom lashes and you want to see. I have to turn a, turn it around because it wasn't facing the right way. And you guys know I have trouble with these tweezers with glue sticking. Okay, there it goes. So you, the idea is you fill in your natural lashes with these lashes, but I don't have any. So I'm trying this to try to make my bottom lashes look more natural, but I want them to be there. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see this. I did clean off my tweezers last night. So I think I got the glue off of them. So that is really helping. See, I got like, maybe I got like three or four in this bunch. It's okay, just stick it on. It's like if you have a group of them, they'll stick on better than if you have like one or two. Like one or two might fall out of the group. That's what just happened. So when the glue dries, these will look a lot better. You just dip it in here in the glue, turn it around and then stick it on your face. Hopefully, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. I'm gonna come back and show you the finished look from the eyelashes. Okay, so I'm done with the bottom lashes. So let's see how the top lashes look with mascara on them. These, mas these eyelashes are pretty long, but it's just very hard to tell that when there's not mascara on them. I remember these are the ones I think I put on my sister and they were very long a little too long for her because she she um go she likes to go natural I do not so I yeah I think these lashes will work after they see how awesome this mascara is you guys look look at the before and the after amazing amazing I have a whole graveyard full of eyelashes that I think I could bring back to life with this mascara. So cool. I have a bunch of lashes just that aren't full enough or they're just not enough, but I think I can bring them back to life with this mascara. 
So I think it looks good. I think it matches the bottom pretty well. I'm just wondering, should I put on any kind of eyeliner like um, like white eyeliner or I think I have a gold eyeliner. I also have another color in this palette that I want to put. Uh, I want to, it's like a, just a shimmery color that I want to put on the inside. It's basically the same color as my highlight. So I'm going to put that right there. I wonder if I should put some up underneath my eyebrows. Just a little shimmer. My eyebrows are already kind of white. Under my eyebrows are already kind of white because of the the uh, eye, the primer that I used. Okay, so uh, let me go through and do my makeup and I will come back for lipstick. Let me think about what lipstick I want to use. I just found a bunch of eyeliners that I have and I do have a gold one. So I'm going to try that and see how that looks. don't know if it's going to show up enough to make a difference. Can you guys see that? It doesn't really show up enough to make a difference, but I'm going to put it on anyway. Just because I already put one side on. I don't take my eyelashes off. All right, I think my eyes look pretty cute today. All right, let me go do my makeup. I don't know, I'm starting to not like these lashes now. It's just, it's just so weird to not have eyeliner and lashes on. I'm gonna stay with it though, because I need to learn to be more natural. So I'm not gonna change them, I'm just gonna stay with it. It's not like I'm going anywhere anyway. So I decided on some pink lipstick. I I like never wear pink lipstick, but for today, for some reason, I don't wanna wear pink lipstick. I think it's because I just found this lipstick yesterday. So I wanna see how it looks. All right, let's see how it looks. I don't know about pink and orange together, but whatever. I like it. I wonder if I should wear some lip gloss with this. Yeah, let me try it with some lip gloss. I'm gonna come back when this dries. All right, here we go with the lip gloss. See how this looks. Oh, I like it.
The only thing I don't like lip gloss is one, the way it feels, and two, I have cats, so the lip, the their hair gets stuck in my lip gloss. But otherwise, I like the way it looks. All right, you guys. Well, this is today's look. I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm a little uncomfortable without the eyeliner and the eyelashes, you know, the big eyelashes. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I like the eyeshadow and I like the lipstick. I just, I just think it would look better on someone else. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, please. And um, keep watching out for more videos. Thanks for your support, you guys. Bye, y'all.